is the real name of independent India. It has given birth to many great movements in religion, art and literature. The fundamental values of present India are based on Vedic Indian teachings like Satyamev Jayate, Vande Matram, Vasudev Kutumbakam and many more makes India different from other countries. In 21st century, where India is rising as a socio-economic power, there is an Indian organization dedicated to promote colorful culture and Vedic teachings of glorious India. This organization is Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. The literal meaning of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan is the temple of Indian knowledge. Dr. Kanhaiya Lal Manik Lal Munshi a man of great knowledge and pride, gave a new direction to the Indian masses by introducing his efforts for the betterment of the society. On November 7, 1938, with the blessings of Mahatma Gandhi, he founded Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. On the occasion of 75th anniversary, the President of India, Pranam Mukherjee, said, Three quarters of a century ago, Munshi ji could foretell the impending <coughs> turmoil over the moral and ethical values. He believed that freedom would be meaningless and worthless unless cultural, ethical and moral values are enshrined in the hearts and minds of our people. Munshi ji therefore felt the need to create an institution that could begin to bring about in a small way a tangible change through the education. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, which was started as an institution, is now a massive cultural and educational movement. It is a moral movement that steers people towards a life guided by ethics. The Bhavan is today rendering human service to the people of our nation and through them to enter humankind. The Bhavan has not merely adopted as its motto the Vedic proclamation Vasudheva Kutumbakam, but proves it through its words and deeds. What Munsiji expected to achieve through the Bhavan can be narrowed down to three main points. Firstly, he wanted the other worldliness in outlook of the people to be replaced by a sense of joy in the life as it is to be lived. Secondly, he felt that outmoded traditions which stifle the creative vitality of individual and collective life must be replaced by a vigorous, flexible attitude to life. And thirdly, the fundamental values which have given ageless inspiration to our culture had to be captured afresh for our generation. Movements such as the Bhavan are the need of the day. The Bharati of Vidya Bhavan has stood the test of time and has been a beacon light guiding Indian and foreigners alike in their path of life of a balanced and wholesome life. With 119 centers in India and around seven centers abroad, including United States and the United Kingdom, Munsiji's dream of promoting ethical and spiritual values in day-to-day -day life is successfully accompanied by the Bharati Vidya Bhavan. I pay my compliments to the staff of the Bhavan and for their tireless efforts in translating Munsiji's vision into reality. Today, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan is more than 75 years old. It is internationally reputed and largest NGO in India. While expressing purpose of education, Kulpati K.M. Munshi says, the modern man is an economic man, but education would fail ignominiously in its objective 
if it manufactured only a robot and called him an economic man, accenting the adjective economic and forgetting the substantive man. A university cannot afford to ignore the cultural aspects of education, whatever studies it specializes in. Even though you may ultimately become a scientist, a doctor or an engineer, you must, while in college, absorb fundamental values which will make you a man of culture. An engineer has not merely to build bridges, he has to be a devoted husband, a kind father, a friendly neighbor, a dutiful citizen and a man true to himself. From small beginning, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan has grown into a great intellectual, cultural and educational movement with 112 kendras within the country, 8 overseas centers and 280 constituent institutions. How one can grow in life, Kulpati says. No one is born a saint nor a yogi, born with a weakness and faults. Everyone has to win God by increasing his knowledge, understanding and faith and converting them into conscious action. Bhavan now stand tall with a magnificent past. Establishing the beautiful traditions, it is a living monument and a breathing symbol of ideals of Vedic teachings. Bharati Vidya Bhavan is not merely an educational institution. It is a cultural movement and education is part of culture. So education activities of the Bhavan is part of its whole. The divinity of the Vedas become fundamental value of the Vedic culture. It bound the communities together. The chanting of Vedas was not the exclusive privilege of the Brahmins. Everyone was entitled to be taught the sacred word. Anubhadra Kratvo Yantu Vishwataha means let noble thoughts come to us from every side. This quote from Rig Veda is the motto of Bhavan, on which Bhavan is working consistently. From the very starting of this non-profit organization, the first aim of Bhavan has always been to promote our ancient language Sanskrit, Vedic teachings, yoga, astrology and Indology, so that we will always remain connected to our roots. A common language, Sanskrit and its literature have given the Indian people an unbroken continuity which is described as one of the marvels of history. India attained her solidarity and cultural vitality through Sanskrit and through Sanskrit alone has she retained them. In the recent past, India regained lost prestige through scholars whose visions have been largely enriched by Sanskritic studies. Bharati Vidya Bhavan was started in 1939 mainly for Sanskrit language and preserving and nourishing Indian culture. This was the basic idea of Bapaji K. M. Munshiji, who thought that before India becomes independent, we must make efforts to preserve our roots. So Bharati Vidya Bhavan was started before India became independent, mainly with the aim of strengthening Sanskrit studies and Sanskrit culture and Sanskrit atmosphere and Sanskrit samskaras in the people of India. As Sanskrit is an ancient language, Bhavan focused on this language. And in 1951, Sanskrit Vishwa Parishad was sponsored by it. Some leading centers of Bhavan provides higher studies in Sanskrit, Vedic rituals and astrology. Bhavan's Mumba Devi Adarsh Sanskrit Mahavidyale, established in 1939, is a leading center for higher studies in Sanskrit. The students learn Shastras in the auspicious tradition of Gurukul. This Mahavidyale is under the Adarsh Patshala scheme of the Ministry of Human Resource Development and affiliated to the Rashtri Sanskrit Sansthan, New Delhi and Sampurnanand Sanskrit Vishwavidyale, Varanasi. In year 2011, on August 20, Bhavan celebrated Sanskrit Day with a lecture on Sanskrit education 
and human values with a motive to promote Sanskrit across the world. Bhavan has not just worked upon uplifting the masses intellectually but also physically, for which Bhavan's Yoga Bharti has been conducting yoga courses at Bhavan's Mumbai Kendra from past several years. Yoga Bharti follows the tradition of yoga based on the classic yoga sutras of Maharishi Patanjali. Through yoga courses, students are trained scientifically to control diseases like asthma, arthritis, blood pressure, back pain, diabetes, depression, stress, obesity, etc. Lectures, seminars and demonstrations are conducted freely under the eminent doctors. The central purpose of yoga is to transform our superficial way of living into a deep and wide consciousness, to convert our fragmentary experiences into an inner and outer experience harmoniously integrated, to transform our Hitlerite ego into the universal spirit of Buddha and Ramakrishna, to transmute ordinary life into a life of God. The motto of Bhavan is not just to spread knowledge but also a change in thinking of people to practice the fundamental values. It's not just an institution, it is a cultural institution whose main task is to transform the human nature. This is the reason that over the past six decades, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan has evolved into an intellectual, cultural and educational movement. And when it comes to cultural movement, Bhavan's Bharatiya Kala Kendra is the one which is promoting Indian dance, drama, music and other performing arts. Education comes in spectrum of our educational activities is right from Sanskrit, study of Gita, study of uh, comparative religious studies of all major religions of the world, down to the most modern management and information technology. The entire spectrum of education is covered. A classical song sung in a beautiful, flexible voice, effortlessly to the thob of Mrudang and the accompaniment of the divine Sarangi has set my veins pulsating with ecstasy. And the distant Vedic chant floating over the even air has brought to me the vision of the ineffable. This is your ideal to make music the vehicle of the highest expression possible to man. The time has now arrived when Indian music should find a place in the curriculum of every university. The Kala Kendra has acquired the distinction of being one of the few centers in the country, striving to promote and develop a mature talent in the fields of Bharatiya Natya Shastra, Indian classical vocal music, instrumental music and various Indian dance forms. Bhavan's air-conditioned auditorium, Kanji Khetse Sabagri, provides the Kala Kendra with ideal facilities for its different activities. Bharati Vidya Bhavan has become a huge gateway to all these kind of uh, activities. People like uh, Vijaya Mehta, Amzad Khan, Rajesh Khanna, Vijay Anand, there are lots of names. I mean, today's uh, actor, uh, today's director, Asutosh Guarikar, he also used to uh, participate in intercollegiate drama competition. Today, in television also, when you see the young generation which is there, 90% of them have participated in Bhavan's competition. Bharatiya Natya Shiksha P teaches basic acting and direction for stage, TV and films. Bhavan's experimental theatre is the only open theatre in Mumbai, which provides a platform for new and upcoming talents in the theatre field. The best part of this experimental theatre is that any individual, amateur or a professional, new and aspiring or experienced theatre artist belonging to any theatre group can perform free of cost. Our culture was born over 2000 years before Christ and it has flourished ever since and does so still in unbroken continuity. 
This fact provides the most important feature not only of our history but of that of the whole world. India has persisted as a cultural unit of the last 30 centuries. Amritam to Vidya, knowledge is nectar. As the logo of Bhavan speaks about itself, Bhavan lights up the lamp of knowledge and action from kindergarten level to higher professional studies across the world. Bhavan's Shikshan Bharti is an educational unit formed in year 1993 for coordinating, supervising and maintaining basic uniformity in the board management of Bhavan schools. Currently, it has 80 schools running all over the country and three schools overseas. Most of these schools are up to 10 plus 2 standard and affiliated to CVSC board New Delhi. Few schools are affiliated to different state boards. Today, the strength of the students studying at Bhavan schools is more than 43,000 and has around 5,000 teachers. The key feature of Bhavan school is that it blends modern education with traditional moral values. Our school student strength is around 2 lakh. Now, we make extra efforts to inculcate values in them through many media, through dramatically, through so even if we succeed 10% and it's a floating population every year few thousand enter the bhavan and every year 2000 students go out so even if we succeed within 10% of this it will be a great contribution it's a great contribution to the country by bringing out upright citizens for higher education various colleges are being run by bvb bhavan's Megji matra das college of arts narun das manur das institute of science and Haji Rashid Jafar College of Commerce are from those Bhavan's colleges which provides higher education supported with moral values. The basis of each man's truth is his sabhava, his nature, which comprises his tastes, aptitudes, capacities, temperament and whole content of his subconscious. In most attempts at religious, moral or educational discipline, it is forgotten that the individual nature, Swabhava, is the basis of personality. Bhavan's college was the first institution for higher education founded by Kulpati K. M. Munshi. These colleges are affiliated to the University of Mumbai and deals with leading routine courses like BA, BSc, BCom, MA, MSc and PhD. Bhavan Sardar Patel College of Engineering was established in 1962. The college is approved by AICTE and is affiliated to the University of Mumbai. The college conducts civil, electrical and mechanical courses. In 2005, Bhavan established its Sardar Patel Institute of Technology which is also affiliated to the University of Mumbai for B.Tech, MCA and M.E. degrees. I would say that the Bharti Vidya Bhavan is the ideal educational institutions. We are not selling, uh, we don't have any management quota, we are not selling sales, we are not doing business in education as many other peoples are doing. So Bharti Vidya Bhavan is a beacon light for all those who, are, who would like to work in an area of education and in a culture. In current scenario, where most of the institutes and universities provides routine or formal higher education, Bhavan is promoting professional education through its various centers. Bhavan's Rajendra Prasad Institute of Communication and Management is one of them. It was established in 1961 as a Bhavan's pioneering effort to impart non-formal education in modern professional subjects. Initially, it was started as Bhavan's College of Journalism, Advertising and Printing with part-time courses in Journalism, Advertising and Printing. In 1965, it was renamed as Rajendra Prasad Institute of Communication Studies to honor the memory of the first President of India and founder member of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. In 1978, 
it was renamed as Rajendra Prasad Institute of Communication and Management. In professional education, Bhavan has set up a benchmark. Bhavan's SP Jain Institute of Management and Research has been acknowledged as one of the premier business school in the country. It was inaugurated in 1981 by then British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. The institute is well known and recognized for its innovative programs and pedagogy, shaping young leaders with character, values and business skills. It has been receiving tremendous support from the industry in terms of academic courses, project works, internships and placements. With providing excellence in management training, Bhavan has acquired name and fame for journalism and mass communication studies. In an All India survey conducted by Outlook magazine and The Week magazine, Bhavan's Sardar Patel College of Communication and Management's Department of Mass Communication has been rated one of the top 10 centers of mass communication in India. All courses have cultural heritage of India as one of the study paper. India is the motherland of the spirit. Indian culture is not merely Aryan culture but much more. We cannot repudiate the Gandhara art because of the Greek influence. We cannot disown the Taj Mahal because of its Islamic inspiration. We cannot reject the art, the manners, the institutions which Hindu Muslim adjustments have given birth to. We cannot even throw off the western influence and institution which have grown into our life. Indian culture is a living force. It absorbs alien elements when necessary. Manu, Buddha, Pani, Bhasha and Kotilya are still living influences operating in life. Shri Krishna's exhortation to Arjuna still inspires the thought, hope and conduct of millions. Bhavan believes in serving the society. Its ideal is a Sanskrit shlok that is Vasudev Kutumbakam means world is one family. The whole world has to be taken as a family. Not merely human beings, everything is connected with everything. Even the trees and the bees and the fish and the birds. You see that wider concept of Bharati Vidya. Following this ideal, Bhavan is putting efforts on upliftment of the weaker sections of our society. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan is the largest Indian NGO of its kind that offers free computer education to the youth belonging to the economically weaker segments of the society, regardless of caste, creed, region or religion, with a view to improve their job opportunities. Gandhi Institute of Computer Education and Information Technology has played a significant role in this. It was set up in July 1996 at Mumbai. Since then, the institute is fine-tuning its training modules and training programs from time to time to match up the changing trends and needs of industries. We are giving free computer education, several courses. A poor boy or a girl can take totally free one course after another after another so which we cost them total of one or two or three lakh rupees outside we are giving it completely free and so far two and a half lakh students have taken advantage of it and they got jobs out of it which gives us satisfaction the institute received encouraging response from corporate masters around the world including mr bill gates Major highlight of this institute is that there is no blackboard teaching. Each student is given equal importance and is taught on a personal terminal with emphasis on quality and practical knowledge. The institute has 52 centers so far in major cities across India. This is a true nation building. A nation is not organized by unity created by geography, language or religion. It can only be done by people consciously willing themselves into a nation. 
A nation is the product of a million wills combined in an act of living up to the idea of a great unity. Providing the routine and professional courses, Bhavan is also promoting ancient knowledge of India, for which Bhavan Center of Indology was started. The department provides knowledge of ancient India, including lectures and classes on yoga, holistic living, spiritualism, naturopathy, occult science, astrology, and Vedic concepts. Bhavan's Institute of Astrology is conducting one year, two year, and three years of basic to advanced training in astrology. The horoscope, that is the chart of heavens at a particular time, can yield an accurate forecast of the life, temperament, and achievement of the individual born at the time. The planets, therefore, have a definite role to play in the life of an individual. Apart from different institutes, Bhavan holds its own publication division, Prakashan Mandir, established in 1950. Prakashan Mandir is the most important constituent part of Bhavan. It aims to publish books and periodicals with the purpose of providing higher education. It publishes books in various languages and topics to serve readers with different interests. So far, Bhavan has published over 2,000 titles and over 31 million copies have been sold. The printed book will enable the genuine word to travel fast to all corners of the world. Books contain the germ of divinity. They mold life itself. They make it worth living. They can make the hearts of men and women thaw. Their cheeks glow and their eyes sparkle. Bhavan's journal is an English fortnightly, recognized as one of the most widely read magazines of our country. It is purely devoted to life, literature and culture, having a vast and enlightened readership in India and abroad since 1954. Many distinguished thinkers and writers contributes to it. Bhavan's publication division also publish monthly magazine Navneet in Hindi and Navneet Samarpan in Gujarati. Both the magazines are devoted to life, literature and culture. The special feature of Navneet is that many outstanding poets, short story writers and thinkers contributes to it and republishing of articles from Samarpan magazine has become a usual feature in various Gujarati newspapers and magazines. We are one of the biggest publishers of books in the country. We publish magazines in Hindi, uh, English, Sanskrit, Gujarati. All these magazines, all these activities are part of this cultural uh, movement and cultural inculcation of cultural values. Bhavan has conserved its aura in its name since ages. The strength of this tremendous institution lies in the fact that it promotes Indian culture, Vedic teachings and moral values. Along with its loyal workers, Bhavan has succeeded in maintaining a standard and a strong independent cluster of values for which Bhavan has been recognized as an institute of national eminence by Government of India. It is also appreciated through Communal Harmony Award and Rajiv Gandhi Award for National Integration and International Gandhi Peace Prize. We want to find a Sarva Dharma uh, Pratishthan in which there will be facilities for study of all the major religions in the world. There will be uh, hostel accommodation for the scholars from all over the world to come. Jews or Christian and everything, Sikh and Buddhism and everything, Islam and Hindu, of course. So that, and then establishing a library, a world-class library where one can come and study, then holding seminars and all that. That is one of our ambitions. Kulpati K. M. Munshi sowed a seed many years ago and nurtured it with faith, love and hope that one day it will flourish and spread its branches throughout the world. Today it belongs to everyone who believes in Munshi Ji's ideology, the ideology which should be followed by every true Indian. Men and women 
have to be free and equal, subject only to the law of truth and service. Freedom is easier to gain than to preserve. At all times, a free nation has to be vigilant and determined in safeguarding it. We have to maintain the spirit of freedom by keeping alive the memory of the heroes and martyrs whose undaunted courage paved the path to freedom. Today, every center of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan is partner for its progress. All centers are spreading common message of cultural reintegration to make India a strong democratic nation. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan's Delhi Kendra played an active role in celebration of Platinum Jubilee. The statue of founder Kutpati Munshi was established and inaugurated by Lok Sabha Speaker Meera Kumar. It is thus only appropriate that the Vastra Munshi Ji has been unveiled by an eminent personality of India, Honorable Shifri Meera Kumar, Speaker Lok Sabha, in this complex today. We are extremely joyful, grateful and happy on this occasion to have this unveiling done by Shimati Meera Kumar. Although Bhavan's motto is, let noble thoughts come to us from every side, but with an ageless message of faith, self-discipline and dedication, the motto has been transformed to, let noble thoughts go to every side from Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan.